Thank you very much. Uh, <clears throat> in quite timely, right there, just at 5.29. So. Um, we'll start in questions. We'll take five minutes. Uh, when you see the yellow light come on, you'll have one minute left. So we, the answers, questions and answers need to be done within that. I'll recognize myself first. Uh, Commissioner Werfel, the Inflation Reduction Act required the IRS to study the feasibility of creating a free e-filing tool for taxpayers to file their federal tax returns. The IRS completed the study in May 2023 and shortly thereafter created a pilot called Direct File, rolling it out in 12 states for those making less than $75,000 a year. The IRA mandated that the IRS study the feasibility of creating a free e-filing system. Under what authority did the uh, IRS create the Direct File system? Uh, Congressman, I have two answers to that. First, uh, the small-scale pilot we believe is part of a study of whether a solution like that could be deployed nationally. So we wanted to not just study in the abstract, we wanted to actually engage in taxpayers, see if the prototype uh, could be built and could work. So part of the authority was the IRA requirement for a study. But the second authority is under the, uh, under uh, Section 7803 of, of the code, which requires uh, the commissioner and the IRS to administer the tax code in a way that serves taxpayers, uh, meets the Taxpayer Bill of Rights, and we believe provides options for how they file. Just as when we went from paper filing to uh, put, for example, uh, uh, PDF uh, forms online with fillable uh, 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 entries, uh, we didn't believe we needed authority then because we think there's a general authority for the IRS to move and evolve along with technology in the digital age to meet taxpayers and not need for any adjustments that we make uh, to, uh, to ask Congress for specific authority for all of these adjustments. What distinguishes direct file from the existing free file system? It's really just another option. We want taxpayers, uh, when they have to file, we want to reduce their stress and make the process easier. And one of the things that we've heard from taxpayers and, and various members of Congress is that an option where a taxpayer could file online for free direct with the IRS versus working with a software provider is an option that should be available. We encourage taxpayers to work to figure out what is the best option for them. And we know that many taxpayers have, uh, have enjoyed and are satisfied with the commercial software they use, and they are free to continue to use that software. But there are taxpayers, and I've heard directly from them, that we're looking for another option. And what we're doing is testing whether we could provide such an option and whether there was a demand for it. Well, the IRS spent over $24.6 million on creating the direct file pilot, and only 140,000 direct file tax returns were successfully submitted. In promoting this as a success, but less than 1% of the 19 million taxpayers eligible for direct file submitted a successful return. The IRS spent $174 per return when the free file system exists. As chairman subcommittee, I don't, you know, I look at wasteful spending, sir. Commissioner Warfel, why mm -hmm. didn't the IRS encourage taxpayers to use existing free file system instead of creating a duplicative system and spending $24.6 million on it? Well, this is the exact type of debate we were hoping to have uh, once we run the pilot and reported our results. There's a lot of different ways to look at the, the demand in the 140,000 taxpayers. We opened it up to the public uh, in early March, so we didn't have the full filing season. I believe that if we were open for the full filing season, the numbers likely would have been higher because many of the eligible taxpayers filed before we opened it to them. Also, uh, we saw a significant ramp in demand over the course of filing season. So by the time we got to April 13th, 14th, we were seeing exponential growth. And I think that's because more people, as they started to focus on their taxes, looked at this option favorably. And in terms of the cost per uh, return filed, a lot of what was built this year, if we were to go forward, has already been built. So we would expect that the cost per return will drop significantly in the future if direct file goes forward. But we're glad that people are having this debate. We're glad that there can be an analysis and cost information out there to analyze the go forward. Well, the IRS included $75 million in our fiscal year 2025 budget request for direct file. But we've heard that you may not go forward. Correct. Who at the IRS will determine if direct file continues? 
Yeah, we hope to make a decision uh, fairly soon. Uh, we released a, a, a 40 to 50 page uh, report detailing all of the findings from the pilot uh, last week. We're now doing a variety of stakeholder engagement with, uh, with all kinds of uh, uh, taxpayers and taxpayer intermediaries. Um, I hope that over the next several weeks, we will complete that and be able to make and announce a decision. Thank you. And I recognize Ranking Member Hoyer for any questions he may have.